I had so many doors slammed in my face when I got out of prison. Because no one wanted to get put out of their housing because of my record that prevented me from living with other people. That's what led me to homelessness. Landlords discriminating against people like me who have lived experiences, criminal backgrounds, keeping our guys going in a revolving door, in and out of prison, back on the streets. You got thousands of people getting out of prison every day. They don't have anywhere to go. Our society says they're a second chance society and they're not, they're just not. Successful reentry is arguably one of the most challenging contemporary issues. Property owners and managers are not receptive to renting to people with criminal records. For those experiencing homelessness, they are more likely to be involved really in criminal activity. And usually it's just a means of survival. And, and this makes them more likely to be arrested. And so that's a cycle between you know homelessness and incarceration and it's ongoing. And so housing focused solutions are really the key to producing both issues when I came to the Office of Free Entry in 2021, the Justice Housing Plan was already in motion. I was a part of that committee because I was the one that was impacted by housing. So I just want people to know that the struggle is real and they need to read the eight point plan that is very important to people that are still homeless. Enterprise Community Partners, they have been extremely helpful in getting this work done. They have assisted in designing and implementing housing programs tailored to the reentry population. They have conducted loads of research and analyzed data to identify the trends and challenges and opportunities within the housing landscape. For anyone who wants to help be an advocate in this justice housing work, who wants to use their voice and amplify the voices of others who are experiencing discrimination, the plan is for them so they can become knowledgeable about what things look like, they can dispel myths, right? And they can just use their influence to make change. We can shout all day about housing is a human right, and, and we've done that before. But if the community's not behind getting justice for people like me, it's not gonna work. It's gonna take laws to change to make society the second chance society that they say they are. It's a difference between lookers and doers. And we need doers to do what's necessary to get people housing and to look over this eight point plan so we can help other people in society.